So today we're going to look at how to take a screenshot using Windows. The easiest way to take a screenshot in Windows is to take a screenshot of the whole screen that you've got in front of you and that's by hitting the print screen key. The print screen key will be a key often the same key as your system requirements key that has the words print screen on it or uh, some shorter version of those words. It tends to be next to the function keys as well. So now I'm going to hit the print screen key and captured to the memory will be uh, an image of our desktop home screen. What I need to do now is find a document into which to paste that screenshot. Uh, you can paste it straight into Word or any document that's visual. In this case uh, I'm going to choose paint in order to create an image. So I get paint up and I paste into paint the image I just captured and I could edit the image there but in this case what I'm just going to do is save it as desktop. I've already done it so now over Right, the previous image and here on my desktop I have an image called desktop which is a capture I just took of the home screen. You can do anything with that that you can do with another image. Now that's very simple but it's also very basic. So in all versions of Windows since Windows Vista you've been able to use a tool called the snipping tool. So again I go down to the start menu and I load up the snipping tool which now appears on the desktop. The snipping tool offers several different options. You can do a freeform snip, uh, which allows you to draw any shape on the screen and it'll capture an image of everything that's inside that. You can do a window snip, which will capture just the window that you particularly want. Say if there's a, uh, you want to take a, an image of a, a spreadsheet, say you just have to click into that. Uh, and then there's full screen snip, which will pretty much do what we just did using the print screen key. In this case, we're going to do a rectangular snip. So choose rectangular snip. And then you draw a rectangle on your screen and a capture will be made of everything within that rectangle. So we want to get an image of this nice window symbol here. So there we go with uh, our rectangle and that immediately creates this image which we have to, there's some very basic editing options but we're just going to save this. So again we hit the save and we're going to call this Windows Symbol. Once again, we'd already done this before as a practice, so we just save over that. And there you go. There's two very simple ways of capturing the screen uh, when you're using any version of Windows.